guys, so my name is Abby, but you knew that. <laughs> and today we're gonna be going over some muscles. So we're gonna start out with the head first. So we're gonna be starting off with the orbicularis oculi, which closes the eye and it goes around the eye like that and closes the eyes. And next is the orbicularis oris, which allows for pursing of the lips. So it goes around the mouth like that. And it will seem to purse your lips. And next is the buccinator or buccinator, which allows for compression of the cheek as in whistling. So it's there. I can't whistle, but it allows for whistling. And next is the temporalis, which is located on the side of your head, and it allows for elevation of the mandible like that. It doesn't depress the mandible, but it elevates it. Next is the masseter, which allows for elevation of the mandible as well, and it's located here. It doesn't depress it, it elevates it. And next is the zygomaticus major, which comes in at an angle like that, and it allows for raising of the corners of the mouth as in smiling, like that. And next is the frontalis, which allows for raising of the eyebrows, and it's located right here. So, there's that. And next is the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and it runs from back here down to the front. It allows for flexion of the front, flexion of the head as in prayer. And next is the platysma, which is located, it just drapes around the front from down from the mandible down to your collarbones like that. And it allows for a depression of the mandible like that. Next is the latissimus dorsi, which is right here, and allows for extension of the arm at the shoulder joint like that. Next is the supraspinatus, which allows for abduction of the arm at the shoulder joint, and it comes up right here, allows for abduction like that. Next is the trapezius, which is up here and here, and it allows for elevation of the scapulas and shrugging the shoulders. Next is the pectoralis major, which is right here, and allows for adduction of the arm at the shoulder joint. So adding to your body like that. And next is our biceps brachii, which is right here. It allows for flexion at the elbow joint, like that. And next is the brachialis, which is right here and allows for also flexion at the elbow joints. And next is our deltoid, which allows for abduction, our deltoid here, which allows for abduction at the shoulder joints. And then we have our triceps brachii right here, which allows extension at the elbow joint. And we have our palmaris longus running down the anterior of our form like that and it allows for flexion of the hand at the wrist like that. All right, now we're gonna move on to the legs. Um, we, we have our rectus femoris running down the front of our thigh, which allows for extension at the knee joint like that and now we have our biceps femoris which allows for flexion of the leg at the knee joint and next is our gluteus maximus which is here and allows for extension of the leg back like that at the hip joint and next is our gluteus medius which allows for abduction of the thigh at the hip joint and next is a sartorius, which wraps around the front of the leg like that. And it allows for flexion of the leg at the knee joint. And next is our gastrocnemius, which is right here. 
and it allows for plantar flexion, so up on your toes like that. And finally, we have our tibialis anterior, which runs down the anterior of your lower leg like that. And that allows for dorsiflexion, so up on your heel like that. And that is all. Thank you.